Hey everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica and today is day three of our back to school week. Today's video is going to be our third grade curriculum slash resources choices. So this will be everything I have chosen specifically for third grade for the upcoming 2020-2021 school year. Now what I'm going to show you is what I am pretty sure what we're going to be doing. I'm like 95% sure it's what I have planned for the school year. But as you guys know, we are relaxed homeschoolers who are interest and child led. So we will follow her wherever she goes and we may be adding things in or taking them away. Anything that is bought to brought into our homeschool, whether it's just a fun resource or something additional, it will be shared in a haul video. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that you see all of those because I will be sharing a monthly Amazon haul as well as anything else that we purchase throughout the school year. And if I design a unit specifically for her, I will share obviously the entire unit with you guys in a video and a blog post. And then as I write things, I obviously will be putting them in the shop for you. So this will be what I'm hoping to do for third grade, but it is subject to change as everything always is in our homeschool. And also there are a few things that I know you guys are already want to see inside. So I have them on a, on a list of videos to do, but if there's anything that you see in this video, there's like, Oh man, I'd like to see more of that. Let me know in the comments down below. And I will gladly do that. I don't want to show you inside everything because we could be here for a while, but I will gladly do a look inside video for anything that you want to see more of. Without further ado, let me show you what we have for third grade. The first thing I have is the What Your Third Grader Needs to Know book. This is from Core Knowledge. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea because it is based off of Common Core. The only thing that I find to be um, very Common Core is the math, although it does still have a ton of hands-on activities that I think are fun. So I just like having this as a base because I can expand on it. I can use it minimally or, you know, extensively. And I love that it is read aloud. So it's just tons of stories, basically. It's just a compilation of really fun things to read during her third grade year. I love having these for every grade. I've had them since preschool. So it is something that if you're not really sure maybe what you should be teaching or you want somebody to kind of hold your hand or guide you, this is just a great thing to have on your bookshelf. <clears throat> All right, the bare minimum basics that we're going to be doing for math and language arts is the Evan Moore Daily Fundamentals. I believe these are actually still a free download right now. I will leave the link in the description box down below for the blog post where you can find everything that I'm going to be talking about today. If they're still free, go ahead and grab them because these are so perfect for a bare minimum homeschool. If you need something for sometimes when you're busy or something for your child to do independently. It is just so perfect because each day is just one page and you have a little bit of language, a little bit of math and a little bit of reading for each day of the school year for 30 weeks. One of the things I love is that each week covers or for five days, they're covering the same topics. So for instance, week one is nouns for language, rounding to the nearest 10 for math, and main idea for reading. So what my plan is for the daily fundamentals is to use the Usborne Illustrated Grammar and Punctuation as well as the Usborne Illustrated Math Dictionary and teach the concepts with these books. Then we will read additional books such as, let's see, for week one, because I know we're doing nouns, I have the book If You Were a Noun Pulled, um, and then rounding to the nearest 10. I have a game that I've made up where we're just going to roll two 10-sided um, dice and round to the nearest 10 based off of what we roll. So it is just going to be very simple. We're going to do this as our bare minimum, and then I'm going to incorporate books and games to go with it. I do also have the Evan Moore math and language fundamentals to um, accompany this. If there is a concept that she needs more work on or she needs um, more practice on, I will pull that concept out of the math or language fundamentals from Evan Moore third grade. And I will do a look inside those in the near future so that you can see a little bit more of those as well. To go along with that, just math and language arts kind of resources that we'll be working through that she'll have access to. We have the intermediate wipe clean books from Usborne. So it's the spelling, grammar and punctuation, multiplying and dividing. 
I also have the entire Life of Fred Elementary series, although I'm hoping to get through Edgewood and Farming this year. We may only get through one or we may get through three. My goal is two. It's always two a year is my goal because if you were to do the math, two a year um, puts you finishing the elementary series at the end of elementary. So Edgewood and Farming are my goal for third grade. And then for math, I also have the journey through the different things. I know that this is one of the things on my to-do list for a look inside because I know many of you wanted to see more. Um, we will definitely be doing the journey through the animal kingdom and the um, wonders of the world because these are both topics that we're going to be covering this school year. And then if we do additional unit studies or if she shows interest, we will do more of these too. The last thing I have for math is the Right Start Math card games. Now I did not purchase the entire curriculum, but I did purchase the card games because you guys know we love games. And I love that this gave me a game for pretty much any topic that you could come up with in math. Um, it's got over 300 card games. It came with all of the cards and the abacus. It's I'm just it's amazing. And it's split up in the table of contents by math concepts. And then it's just got all kinds of games. Like it's literally a ton so I'm very excited to play some of those games with her and it will last us through sixth grade for language arts and a little bit extra writing I have the write your own storybook from Usborne and then Emily has been very interested in poems and poetry recently so I also got her the write your own poems from Usborne as well for the school year for, I guess we'll call it history, we will be doing the Who Was Unit Studies. I'm not sure which ones specifically we'll be doing yet. Um, the Who Was Unit Studies will be highly, highly based on her interest and in what she's um, curious about or who she's curious about, what I've written and what I haven't written yet, um, and then where it fits into other things we're studying. So if it's, you know, if there's somebody who specifically fits some of the unit study we're doing, obviously we would do the Who Was Unit Studies on them. My minimum is one a month. That is what I have mentally decided. We will do at least one who was unit study every month for the school year. Probably more though. <clears throat> we will also be doing traveling the world. This will be a big portion of our geography. It will be our like most of geography and science because there will be animals within this and we will be doing a large zoology unit that Emily has requested. So traveling the world will pretty much be the largest portion of our school year. It will be the basis of all of our unit studies. I promise to have more information on this to you guys soon. It is not yet completed. It will be and it will be out to you guys as soon as I possibly can. I promise you're gonna love it though. To go along with traveling the world, I just picked up a few little extras like the Usborn um, dolly dressing around the world and the Usborn around the world mazes. And then I promised her a very large zoology unit because we would be doing the animals around the world. So we will be working through the Sassafras Adventures um, zoology. This is just the read aloud. We're not gonna do the entire thing. So we'll just be doing the read aloud portion of this. Um, with obviously a ton of other things. I haven't finished writing the full unit yet, but I purchased the Zoology for Kids book for her. We have the Sassafras Science. I got her a cross-section animal cell model, and I got her um, some the science kit that's DNA, cells, chromosomes, and genes. So that's kind of the start of the Zoology unit. I promise when it's done, I will come back on here and do a full video for you guys on that unit study. Um, for... I don't know, economics, government, whatever you want to call it. I got her the Tuttle Twins book set along with the Tuttle Twins collaborative games. She is already super excited because she has read enough to know that the main character's name is Emily and she thinks that's like the coolest thing ever. So we will be reading through those and playing the game. For handwriting this year, she wanted to learn cursive, but in case you are new or if you've stuck around, whatever you guys know, handwriting books and handwriting curriculums do not work for us. We have tried everything. She is a perfectionist and they never end well because she cannot make it look the way it looks as the example. So I just got a few fun things, one of which being an app, which I will link. I think it's just cursive. It's like just cursive is the name of it, but I will link it in the blog post. I'm not sure 
I'll get the link for you guys, I promise. The other thing I got was one of these wooden tracing, tracing boards. It's got the lower case on one side and the upper case on the other. And then it just comes with the little wooden pencil stick kind of thing so that she can have fun tracing and kind of experimenting with those letters without it being overwhelming and frustrating to her. And then I also picked up this really fun creative lettering kit for young artists. It goes along with our kind of art theme for this year and it's just tons of different calligraphy and creative art lettering so I thought it would be a fun artistic way for her to practice that <coughs> excuse me and then the few subscriptions that I know for a fact that we're going to be doing this year because they specifically go along with other topics that we'll be doing are the um, writings from the wild which will be going over an animal a month the letters from afar because that will be helping us travel around the world and our universal yums box because that again will help us try foods from around the world i'm sure there are others that we will either try out or we will get um i will do unboxings for you when that happens but i know those are three that we are going to continue to do this year because it kind of coincides with things we'll already be learning about and then as far as online classes we will continue to do out school classes i know for a fact she'll be doing an introduction to veterinary medicine which i will link for you guys she's going to continue to do her lego class we will be doing um, squilt live no sweat nature study and then obviously i've already shared all of the art stuff we're going to be doing which i will put up here for you and then if we are able to restart our wild and free group this coming fall we will be using the exploring nature with children curriculum during that time period so we will just be meeting once a week and doing all of the things that they have in here once a week we'll just kind of discuss it and then we'll do the nature walk suggested so that is if we're able to restart that co-op if not then we'll just save this for the following year when we're able to start it then so that is our third grade year. That is everything I have planned. Well, most of what I have planned. I obviously still have more to share with you guys. And like I said, if you want to see anything else in more detail, let me know in the comment box down below and I'll be more than happy to add a look inside to my schedule. And I would love to hear what you guys are using for the upcoming school year. So if you have a third grader, please tell me what you're using. And if you don't have a third grader, still tell me what you're using because I love researching curriculum. Today's giveaway is for a $50 shop credit to the Waldock Way. To be eligible to win, you must be a subscriber. Like this video and leave a comment.